Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here with Left 4 on learning how to use our EagleBone Black Rev-C. And particularly what we're looking at is how to create a GPS tracker. Now in the first lessons we've got this thing fully up and running where the EagleBone Black is talking to and listening to the most excellent Adafruit Ultimate GPS Breakout. And so these two are talking together. We're getting the data back into the BeagleBone Black. And then in addition to getting the data into the BeagleBone Black, we are actually going in and parsing those NEMA sentence and getting good usable data, real things like latitude, longitude, altitude, all those types of things. Numbers that we can really use in a form that we can use them. Now, if we're actually going to make a GPS tracker, we're going to want to go outside and walk around with it and then have it log our position and be able to come back and upload that information into some cool application like Google Maps or, or something like that. The thing I found interesting that it's not exactly easy to transfer files from the BeagleBone Black to and from the PC. And I was kind of surprised because there's this Cloud9 IDE that you can boot up in a browser, but that the browser is on your PC and you're working with all the things inside of the BeagleBone Black, but there's not like a download this file button. And so I was surprised with that connection that they're giving giving you with that Cloud9 IDE that they did not give you a way to transfer files, or at least I was unable to find it. So this is what this is going to be a real quick lesson, but if we're going to be doing this GPS tracker, if we're going to be taking it any further, we're going to need an easy way to transfer files back and forth. Never fear, I have a solution for you. Go to our friend uh, Mr. Google, www.google.com. <coughs> And what I want you to search on is W-I-N-S-C-P, Win scp okay? Boom, Win scp official site, free SFTP and FTP client, free WinSCP.net. That's where you want to go, okay? Be careful because sometimes the advertisers are tricky and they try to get you to click on something that's not what you intended to. So what we want is we want the Win SCP news. Here's the new release, 5.7.3. By the time you get here, it might be even newer than that. You want to go to download page. Now that we're on the download page, uh, what you got to be careful of, it says regular premium. Now, oh, look here, but that's an advertisement. So you don't want to click on that. You want to download Win <coughs> SCP. Okay. What I would do is I would come down here and get the installation package. So this is download Win SCP 5.7.3. Yours might be newer and just the installation package. And if you look down at the bottom of my browser, you see it's going to download an executable, which is what I want. And so I'm going to click here and then I should see it start downloading in a minute or so. Don't click anything else. Don't panic. <coughs> and you can see here that it is downloading. So it will be a few seconds and we will be able to move forward. Downloading quite nicely, I might add. Quite nicely. Okay. And uh, almost there. Almost there. And second, and we will be able to start this. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so now you click on it, and it will begin the installation process, which you can follow along with me. Okay, here it is. So now do I want to run? Yes, I want to run it. Okay. That looks good. Get rid of this one. I clicked it twice. I wasn't patient enough. English sounds good. Look at that. Installation. Yes, I accept. Typical installation sounds good. I want to be a commander, not an explorer. So you want commander, and that lets you go both ways. And then install. So you just clickety clickety click, and it will be installed in no time. And then there's a nice place here you can donate the, to the people who develop the software. That's always a good idea. And then you can finish. 
All right, so we can get out of that. And if we come over here now, you can see on my desktop, I have an icon for this WinSCP. Let's start it up. All right, this is very easy. Remember in lesson one, I told you how to get your IP address for your BeagleBone Black. I showed you how to do that, so you should know the IP address. Use your address, not my IP address. My IP address does you no good. If you don't know what your BeagleBone IP address is, go back and read lesson number one. Uh, uh, yeah, lesson number one. So 10.1, 10 10.1.15.25 1, 1, is my IP address on the BeagleBone Black. So now with that, I can actually put in my login credentials, root, don't have a password, and log in. And it's looking around. Now it's going to give you this thing, do you want to add the fingerprint to so that your computer is happy to talk to it? Yes. So I'm going to say yes, that's fine. And now it is asking me, uh, okay, yes. So now I say continue. All right, boom, look at this. This is really slick software. Over here on the left is my computer. Okay, it's my desktop PC that I'm on right now. And then over here on the right is my, my uh, Python, or is my uh, BeagleBone Black. <coughs> so let me go to desktop on my Windows machine. And then let me come over here. Remember, we've been putting our, our programs in my Python. But you can see this is just a window that you're navigating across the BeagleBone Black uh, file structure. What if I get dim.py and bring it over here and drag and drop it over here to my desktop folder? OK, download, yes. All right, and now let's see here if it shows up, yes. There it is right there, dim.py. So I was able to download a file from the BeagleBone Black to my uh, desktop. I'm just curious about this program. I always wonder kind of like how much drag and drop they really give you. Let's see, don't want that. How much drag and drop they really give you. I wonder even, let's say if I came up here and I wanted Blinky, could I go right to the desktop with it? Okay, doesn't let you do a direct drag and drop. It doesn't doesn't look like it, but you, you can move back and forth between, <coughs> between the left and the right panes, and so that's very easy. This reminds me a lot of FileZilla, if you've used FileZilla before. So this is the easy, easiest way to transfer files to and from the BeagleBone Black to your PC. This has been a quick lesson. In the next lesson, which will be lesson number five, I will go in and start showing you how to take your GPS project and get it to the point you can actually be logging data and then coming in and uploading the files. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. We will talk to you guys later.